G'day everyone. If you're outside, we're about to start the second uh, team for the Xbox uh, games category. Come on in. Uh, I'm actually not going to muck around with too much. I'm just going to get you guys uh, to get started. This is uh, Team Blossom from Japan. It's over to you. Hello, everyone. I'm Shota Baba. I'm Honoka Naiki. I'm Shiho Nonaka. We are Team Blossom. We have developed this game. The name of this game is Bloom Block. Bloom Block is a 3D puzzle game which is based on the concept of universal tracing that is without retracing steps. We want our users, especially children, to feel the beauty of nature and the comfort of working in nature in Bloom Block. At the same time, we want to raise awareness and interest about the environmental issues in children. First of all, we'd like to introduce the reason why we have made Bloom Block. We'd like to help solve certain social problems through games which many people can enjoy. And among the many social problems, we'd like to help solve these issues which are most serious and closest to us, environmental issues. However, how can we approach a solution to such environmental issues with a video game? We thought hard. Finally, we decided for the keyword of the project concept. The keyword we decided on is environmental education. Environmental education is the educational activities which help promote interest and concern for environmental issues. We think it is critical to understand the importance and richness of nature through environmental education in order to solve environmental issues. And by using game technologies, we want to provide environmental education to children. Our answer is this. Yes, Bloom Block. We want our users, especially children, to feel the beauty of nature and the comfort of working in nature in Bloom Block. At the same time, we want to raise awareness and interest about environmental issues in children. Now, we will give an overview of Bloom Block. Please take a look at the screen. This character is Popo, a flower fairy. Popo is the main character of this game. The player is going to control Popo. Some blocks are placed in each stage like this. The goal of this game is to make flowers bloom on the surfaces of the blocks. The player has to walk along the surfaces of the blocks by universal tracing, that is, without retracing steps. So, what does this all mean? Let's play the game and see. Popo can walk forward. When you move the left step forward, a flower will bloom on the surface of the blocks that Popo works on. 
Okay, let's keep moving Popo. So that more flowers will bloom. Oh, there are no blocks ahead. It's alright. Don't worry, we can keep going. Popo can walk around the surfaces of the blocks in any direction you want. You can use the left stick to make Popo move and change directions. The player has to walk around the surfaces of the blocks without retracing their path. The goal of this game is to make flowers bloom on the surfaces of the blocks. You can create a stage. When you make a flower bloom on all the surfaces of all the blocks, you will advance to the result screen when you create a stage. As you proceed to the result screen, a jigsaw puzzle is filled in with pieces that is correspond to the created stage. And you can finish the game by collecting all the puzzle pieces from the stages. Now, what happens when you step on the block where a flower has already bloomed? Stepping on the bloomed flower results in a fail. This is what you mean when we talk about the concept of universal tracing, moving on the untraceable path. You need to not only work but also be aware of where a flower has already bloomed on the surface of the box. For this reason, you cannot only pop up, but also the camera. Let's go back to the block before the fade. In order to experience operation of the camera. So, if you accidentally step on the flower, don't worry. You can go back to the block before stepping on the boomed flower with rewind. You have gone back to the block before stepping on the boomed flower. So, this is how you operate the camera. The camera can be operated with the right stick or buttons. Let's try moving the camera. By moving the right stick, you can see the stage from various angles. By pressing the right stick down, you can see the entire stage. You can check the status of the block to the right, left, and front of Popo by pressing the B, X, or Y button. By opening the camera in this way, you can check the status of the blocks. Blue Block is a 3D puzzle game with the concept of universal tracing as its base. As Popo walks on the surface of a broad flower will bloom. As the flower bloom, the lowered surfaces of the blocks become beautiful. Also, block by block. The desert background changes 
into a rush, beautiful world. By making the flowers bloom over all the broad surfaces, the beauty of nature is destroyed. We have prepared three background graphics. Words, legs, and sky. As you proceed through each stage of the game, the desert scene will change little by little to show the beauty of nature on the earth. And when each stage is created, beautiful graphics will appear. We children will see and then feel the beauty of nature. We want to raise we want to our users, especially children, to feel the beauty and comfort of walking nature in Bloom Brook. And we want to raise awareness and interest in environmental issues in children. So we were very careful about two points in the development process. The first to make the rules and gameplay simple for children. The second, to make the graphics appealing to children. Now, we will explain these points in order. First, the gameplay. The gameplay of Bloombrook is based on Universal Classic. As you walk on the ranch blocks, their surfaces bloom with flowers. The stage is created when all the block surfaces have a blooming flower. However, you must achieve this one to literacy in steps, i.e. universal tracing. A fair occurs when you step on the surface of a block where flower has already bloomed. Once you start playing blue block, you will find what to do is really simple. The gameplay is divided into two parts. The first, the Popo operation, the main character. You can use the left stick to make Popo move around. The second is camera operation. The camera can be operated with the right stick or buttons. By simplifying the gameplay like this just two parts, Popo and the camera, the rules of the game are easy to understand. Also, this game doesn't proceed in real time nor require complex operations. You can enjoy playing Blue Black at your own pace. We implemented the tutorial to clearly explain the rules and gameplay. By playing the tutorial, you can familiarize yourself with the rules of Blue Black. So, if you don't understand how to play, you can try the tutorial. Next, let us tell you about the graphics. The graphics were designed to focus on cuteness as to appeal to children. The menu is designed like a picture book. And the designs for the result screen are like jigsaw puzzles. We have designed graphics that are approachable and enjoyable to children.
The story of the flower fairy Bobo restoring nature, nature to help his friends suffering from environmental pollution is easy to comprehend. In these ways, we have developed Bloomberg with an emphasis on two points. The, to make the rules and gameplay simple for children. And to make the graphics appealing to children. We want to provide environmental education to children by using game technologies. So we want to make Bloom Block make sorry. We want to make Bloom Block into an intellectual training game which can be played in kindergartens and primary schools. We are currently conducting play testing at two kindergartens in Nagasaki, Japan. How do children play Bloom Block? What do children enjoy about Bloom Block? These are the questions we ask during the play testing. <laughs> this is how the play testing in kindergarten goes. The results have shown so far that the children do not like to try the recurrent stages but they rather enjoy repeatedly playing, they can clear easily. This left an impression on us. So, we made the story more stages of Bloom Block easier. However, we have also implemented the challenge mode in addition to the story mode. We wanted children to be able to complete the story mode to the end. We made the story mode stages easy. Also, it's short. The number of stages of the story mode is numbering only nine. We also made a challenge mode with my record stages so adults can enjoy the game too. There are various stages in the challenge mode from easy to record. The number of stages in the challenge mode is abundant with about 500. Some of them include the stages in the challenge mode, the number two letters. We also want children to challenge themselves to clear the record stage by asking for help from their teachers or parents. In doing so, we believe the children will enjoy Bloom Block more. This is how we have developed Bloom Block so far. We want our users, especially children, to feel the beauty of nature and the comfort of working in nature in Bloom Block. At the same time, we want to raise awareness and interest about the environmental issues in children. We have come to the end of the presentation. Thank you for your kind attention. <laughs>